Okay, in this session, we're going to show you how to connect to your PBX using PuTTY. PuTTY is a um, terminal program that uh, is for Windows users that lets you remotely connect to your PBX. Um, you can go download PuTTY off the internet. It's just PuTTY.exe. You can download, and um, once you do that, you can actually just type in the IP address of the host name which you see here or as you saw me uh, just click on PBX and then load so I actually had a saved connection connection there um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit open and that's going to start up my putty window which is basically a uh, you may hear it as a terminal or a shell um, I typically uh, refer to it as the Linux CLI um, so any one of those is actually referring uh, referencing the same um, terminal window okay um, the first thing I wanted to show you here is the prompt but before we get into that for those of you that um, may not know your IP of your your complete PBX system I j you may have to actually log into the system using a keyboard connected um, to the PBX and a monitor so that you can actually see what the output of IF config is and right here it shows me this IP address so if you were looking, or if you noticed earlier, um, that is where my putty was directed to, okay? So that's the IP of the PBX here. So I just wanted you to be aware that uh, if you don't know the IP address of the PBX, you may have to actually log into the console itself, the physical machine, um, having a keyboard and monitor connected to it. So um, the next thing we're going to point out here is the prompt. Uh, the prompt tells you a lot of different things. Uh, for this for this prompt right here, it tells me that the user is root. I'm logged in as root at uh, Zorcom CPBX, which is the host name. It also shows me a little tilde symbol here. What that tilde means is that I'm actually in the user root's home folder. Uh, one more thing that it shows me here is this pound sign or the hash mark, which means that I'm logged in with elevated privileges. If it were a dollar sign, I would just be a typical user. But uh, because it's a hash sign, it means I have elevated privileges. Okay. Uh, another prompt that I want you to see is the asterisk prompt. And I'm going to log into the asterisk console so that you can actually see that um, the prompt has changed. So now it actually shows me the host name with a little asterisk symbol and CLI. So be aware that uh, you need to look at the prompt sometimes when you're going to type in um, commands. Uh, I, I've seen many people where they didn't realize they were they needed to be in the asterisk um, CLI and they were at the Linux CLI typing in commands or vice versa. So just be aware that the prompt is telling you where you are and where you may need to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a, a brief command here or show channels and I've got no active calls currently okay uh, to get out of the asterisk console I just type in quit and then you see I actually exited and I'm back to the Linux command line interface okay uh, one of the commands we're going to cover real quick here ls meaning list uh, as you can see this is just the basic um, output of list I want to see a little bit more long uh, longer listing of list I can actually do ls minus l and now it's going to show me um, the uh, what's the owner, uh, the group, uh, a lot more detail on this one. So I, I prefer to use ls minus l, uh, or we'll get into ll later. So uh, this one here shows you all the attributes of the file. Um, the different colors denoted here have to do with what type of file that is. Uh, and the green ones here are actually executable as denoted by this x right here. So. Uh, if it were, if it's blue, you see at the front here, it starts with a D. That means it's a directory, okay? Um, the files that are here in white are just your basic text files or config files, so um, they just appear in white. And the last color that you see here is actually this red one. Uh, that's an RPM file, meaning it's compressed. Um, usually tar files, tar.gz, files like that, those will be um, compressed files, so they'll show up in red. Okay, uh, another thing I wanted to show you here real quick, PWD means print working directory. 
Uh, and as I said earlier, the tilde symbol means that I'm con I'm actually in the user roots home folder, as you can see by the slash root there. If I want to change directories, I can actually type in cd and then slash. And I'm going to go to the root of the drive. So cd slash puts me at the root of the drive. You can see that my prompt change right here. So now it's telling me I'm at slash uh, or the root. And if I want to verify this, I can actually do ls minus l. And now I will see a different output because I'm in a different folder. So as and that's exactly what what I'm seeing here: uh, several different directories and a text file right here. So uh, that is ls, pwd, and cd very briefly. And you also saw the difference between the prompts and how to connect with Putty. That's all I have for this session. Thanks for watching.